Joining me now is Lara Logan, the host of Lara Logan Has No Agenda on Fox Nation. Lara, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, it does sound like a little bit of a, hey, that's a nice country you have there from you know, Pakistan telling us. It's a nice little country you have there if you don't, uh, you know, be really bad if something happened to it. Like they're saying, you better release this $9 million of frozen assets in the Federal uh, Reserve or else, you know, we're going to get terrorism again. So sound a little bit like blackmail. Uh -huh. Are well, we, is this another <laughs> hostage situation? Well, the Pakistanis have been blackmailing the U.S. Right. Uh, for decades with their nuclear capability, right? And congressmen and senators on both sides they are, are stupid enough to believe that the only uh, policy of, is one of appeasement. That's the only one that can work. Never mind that India is a nuclear power right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're not threatening uh, to flood the U.S. with terrorists, right? That's and right. You know, this is much worse than anybody realizes. I've had, um, you know, the last few hours have been incredibly significant for me because um, I've had people stepping forward to speak up because they're so horrified by what they're seeing right now, what the United States government is doing. People stepping we forward from where? Well, this is Afghan and American sources with direct knowledge of what is happening, who are directly involved. What happened when the, when the Taliban offensive was going on? Afghan pilots fled to Uzbekistan. That was one of the places they went. The Afghan uh, pilots who were part of the Afghan Air Force. And they have been in Uzbekistan. And the United States government, as I understand it from these people who are directly involved, multiple sources, including even guards on the ground in Uzbekistan, say that the U.S. has agreed to give all of that uh, Air Force capability to the Taliban. Okay, so we're talking about seven uh, Black Hawk helicopters. We're talking about close air support. Um, what you've got there is four mission-capable A-29 fixed-wing aircraft, four, four special, special mission-wing MI-17s, two Little Birds, and so on. These are aircraft that have, some of them, at least two of them, have very, very, very sensitive intelligence-gathering capability on it. And when I say sensitive, I mean, I'm talking about cameras that do day and night missions mm -hmm. that also allow for laser targeting of people on the ground. This is what our military is equipped with. And the United States is al allowing this false narrative to uh, be perpetuated, and the media is dutifully carrying this narrative, that somehow we have to do this. We have no choice, because we've got to get those American citizens out. You know, and what people are raising to me, intelligence people, veterans, active duty, military people, um, not just military people, by the way, intelligence personnel, um, they're saying it seems to them almost as if the U.S. was quite happy to let these American citizens fall into the Taliban so that they can then be used as the justification for what they're doing. Because there are standard operating procedures that every single person in the military and intelligence agencies know have to be followed. So when you withdraw, you don't leave that capability right. behind. And also, if you leave it behind, you have the option of activating all of your systems that are designed to destroy that. To destroy it, exactly. Yes, That's like what everybody stealth, asks. stealth UAVs and so on. So now we have, uh, you know, first-hand reports that indicate that not only is the U.S. sending um, money to the Taliban, not only are they letting them keep this equipment and capability that they have, but that they're actually going to take very sensitive, significant capability from Uzbekistan, where it is not in the hands of the Taliban, and they've agreed to give it to them. And when it comes to the humanitarian aid, can I just say I've been reporting for, you know, about a week now, yeah. that they were going to pass off the money to the Taliban as humanitarian aid. This was planned. It was part of the talks. Zomal Khalazad knows all about this. So does Tony Blinken and Susan Rice and Jake Sullivan and Millie McKenzie, all of them. They have blood on their hands. And right now, there is an urgent crisis going on in the Panjshir Valley, where right. the Afghans are still fighting. And the U.S. is watching this happen, and they're allowing Pakistan to carry out mass killings from house to house to house, beheading two 12-year-old boys, killing women and children, killing the president of Afghanistan's brother, today yeah. in the Panjshir Valley. It's just unbelievable. We should actually be helping the resistance fighters. But I have to tell you, Lara, after seeing that the Biden administration wouldn't even give the Internet to the freedom fighters in Cuba, um, it doesn't surprise me that they're right. not lifting a finger here as well. Great information. That's breaking news for all of you. Thank you, Lara, for sharing that with us tonight. Thank you.